Moses, I am a violinist and conductor from Regina, Canada, and we are here today to talk about how to finish a piece, or the cutoff, or the release. So typically, for the cutoff or the release, you will see a circular motion, either clockwise or counterclockwise, that comes after the last beat of the piece. So if your last beat is in the 4-beat, then you will see 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and cut. Or if your last beat is the 3rd beat, then you will see 1 and 2 and 3 and cut. Notice the subdivision at the end of each beat. Now, in one of my previous videos, I talk about uh, acceleration and deceleration into the beat point and how fast you get into the beat point uh, will depend on the music that you have, you have in front of you. The same will apply for the cutoff. Make sure that your gesture matches the music. So a good way to think about the cutoff is think how you want the musicians to release and stop the sound at the end of the piece. So how you want the musicians, how do you want the violinists to uh, draw the bow at the end, or how do you want the woodwinds and the brass to release that little bit of air that you have at the end. If you're dealing with a choir, think of how you want them to finish that last syllable at the end of the piece. Now, there are other types of cutoff, such as a placement or a strike. But always remember that if the baton stops, the music stops. And this is particularly useful for dealing with fermatas. So for example, if you have a fermata, make sure that your baton keeps moving all the way through the fermata until you're ready to release. Here are some examples of the types of cutoff that I use with my ensembles. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.